so plant pathology so a yes, sir binet 2009 question paper so memory based question paper and uh, uh, this it is it is collected from my friends and uh, uh, colleagues who are studying plant pathology so my name is anand shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamalai university so the first question is au dpc expand au dpc or x au dpc stands for they are asking area under disease progress curve hope you will know that uh, area under disease progress curve was given by van der plank who is considered as father of plant disease epidemiology so the next one is blossom end rot is due to the deficiency of so blossom end rot of tomato is caused by calcium or blossom end rot disease is caused by calcium deficiency so the next one is father of soil solarization so uh, i think we had discussed earlier jacob cutton is considered as father of soil solarization so the next one is the book disease resistance in plant was written by vander plank only uh, i think uh, uh, these are com- continuous repeated questions that is father of soil solarization as well as uh, the book which was written by uh, vander plank that is disease resistance in plant uh, the next one is first federal quarantine act passed in the year 1912 i think we had seen earlier uh, question paper that is the federal quarantine act where the same act was passed in india with the name of dip that is destructive insect and pest act in india it was passed in the year of 1914 14 whereas in usa the dip act is called as federal quarantine act and was passed in the year 1912 So the next one is stem pitting is a type of symptoms or the characteristics of stem pitting is stem pitting is a very common in citrus tristiza virus stem pitting is the most characteristic symptom that can observe citrus tristiza virus so the next one is the infection is produced due to primary infection from the same growing area is called secondary infection simply they are telling so if the inoculum or if the infection is raised from the primary infection it is called as secondary infection very simple so the next one is the alternate host of bajra rust so uh, brinjal is uh, act as a alternate host for, host for bajra rust so the next one is technique used for the amplification of dna so we have uh, uh, prime equipment for the amplification of uh, dna that is polymerase chain reaction that is pcr so hope uh, you will know that uh, who discovered pcr who pcr was discovered by carry mullis in the year of 1983 so pcr is otherwise called as thermocyclic thermocyclic because uh, uh, a high temperature thermal reaction will happen inside the pcr that's why it's called as thermocycler so the next one is the type of filters used in laminar air flow chambers we will know very well that hepa filters are used in laminar air flow chambers hepa that is high efficiency particulate air and the size of the hepa filter is it's very important 0.3 micrometer sometimes they will ask uh, what is the size of hepa filter that they will use in a laminar air flow chamber that is 0.3 micrometer hepa filter can be used in laminar air flow chamber so the next one is low molecular weight rna that replicate and infect plants that is uh, viroid because if you take a virus virus consist of uh, uh, maybe either dna or rna so uh, varieties of a genetic material that can be observed in a different types of plant viruses if you take viroids so far 40 viroids has been discovered so far among all 40 viroids all the genome is made up of single stranded rna only so here the viroid genome is made up of naked single stranded rna moreover it doesn't contain any protein code hope you will know about that and uh, all the viroids whose genome is made up of single stranded rna only so the next one is the longest rod shaped virus that is clostro virus longest rod shaped virus is clostro virus second one is the smallest pathogenic organism it actually it's not a organism it is a infectious protein so prions are the infectious proteins where it has a capability to transmit their infectious nature to uninfected proteins also so i think based on the options uh, uh, maybe they can ask a fungi or something like that uh, so w- w- when compared to other organisms it might be the one of the smallest one and the next one is Uh, expand pgpr that is plant growth promoting rhizobacteria so pgpr in the sense plant growth promoting rhizobacteria so the father of pgpr is klepper k l o 
EPPER Clubber is considered as father of PGPR. The next one is name the spores which are produced as a result of baking of conidia. Sorry, it's a breaking of conidia, not baking of conidia. So, arthrospores or iodospores uh, can be produced when in the conidia is break. Let us consider if the conidia get break like this. So, small, small, small breaking or small, small uh, conidia can be seen. That is called arthrospore or iodospore. Arthrospore otherwise called as iodospore. And which stage? Basidia is produced from the wheat stem rust. If you see, zero stage, stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. Zero stage is pycnial or spermatial stage stage one is acl stage two erudial stage three telial stage four basidial the answer is stage four in basidia stage is produced in the stage of stage four the two in soil the, the, the next question is nematode responsible for kalahasti malady disease of groundnut the answer is tylenchorhynchus bravilinatus Brevilinatus. So the 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 why it is uh, called as Kalahasti malady because the disease which is infected with the nematode was first reported in Kalahasti uh, area of uh, Andhra Pradesh. That's why it's named as Kalahasti malady disease, which is caused by Tylenchorhynchus brevilinatus. So it's a very important one. And the next one is a bactericidal substance produced from strains of bacteria which are effective against closely or other related strains of bacteria is called bacteriosins. So these are all the substance which is produced by one bacteria that is closely uh, uh, effective against the closely related strains of other bacteria is known as bacteriosins. So the bacteriosins are first discovered by Andrew Gracia. And the next one is the attachment and penetrating organ of fungi which having swollen tip that is attachment or penetrating organ of fungi which having swollen tip is the upper soria. so upper sorium is the attachment organ of fungi whereas hostoria is the absorbing organ of fungi they they have given two uh, two hints here the penetrating organ as well as swollen tip if you see this uh, when let us consider if it is a plant cell after entering into the, uh, the this is a spore where it produces spore, uh, you know, spore starts to germinate. Where it produces a big upper sorium, and where it enters into the plant cells, like uh, you know, a swollen tip. A swollen tip can be observed from that where uh, uh, if it enters into the inside the cell, hostoria is produced. Where from uh, inside the cell, the hostoria starts to absorb the nutrient to nourish the spores. Uh, uh, so here the attachment or penetrating organ is upper sorium. So the next one is sex in rust fungi was studied or discovered by Craig. In, in uh, it was discovered in, in the year of 1927 here sexin fungi or spermatial stage or zero stage or pycnial stage all having the same meaning sexual stage pycnial stage zero stage spermatial stage all the stages having the same meaning which was discovered by craig in the year of 1927 so the next one is UG99 is a specific race for which pathogen. Uganda 99 is a race which is specific to wheat stem rust that is Paxinia graministritis. So why they are named as UG99 in the sense because this race was initially discovered in Uganda in the year of 1999. That's why it says UG in the sense Uganda 1999 in the sense. Uh, 19 that re represents a 1999 discovered year. So Uganda 99 is the race which is specific to Paxinia graminis tritis. In India, the race was first reported in New Delhi in the year of 2008. So, the monograph of Fusarium was written by C. Booth. It is a uh, uh, very, very important one. So, the monograph of Fusarium was written by C. Booth in the year of 1971. So, the next one is Father of Modern American Nematology. N.A. Cobb is considered as Father of Modern American Nematology. Next one is what we call if whole thallus is converted into reproductive part that is holocarpic if the whole thallus or entire thallus is converted into reproductive structure that is called holocarpic thallus eucarpic means a partial or few uh, 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 not all thallus is converted a few amount of thallus can be converted into reproductive part that is called eucarpic whereas in holocarpic entire thallus is converted into reproductive part so the next one is 
counter stain used in gram staining so saffronin is used in uh, gram stain that is counter uh, uh, in a counter stain uh, in gram staining so it is the agent which is used in as a uh, gram staining especially for counter stain i mean the counter stain and uh, the next one is yellow mosaic of bendy is transmitted by white fly that is bemisia tabaci so the next one is what is vertifolia effect i think in previous question paper also we had seen what is vertifolia effect the loss of horizontal resistance while breeding for vertical resistance that is vertifolia effect in the sense while we are breeding for uh, 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 vertical resistance the horizontal resistance can be lost that is uh, due to for uh, uh, vertifolia effect so the next one is km smith belonging to the field plant virology so uh, km smith is a plant virologist uh, uh, who thought that the use of indicator plant in plant virology that is km smith only so uh, he is a plant virologist and uh, next one is downy mildew of a sunflower is not present in so downy mildew of sunflower is not present in australia country and the remaining all parts all parts of the globe we can see this downy mildew of sunflower whereas it is absent in australia so the next one is elisa test cannot be used for the detection of viroids so elisa used to detect virus but it can't dis uh, detect uh, viroids so that's why we can use our pages for the discovery of for the detection of uh, plant viroids so the next one is rice ufra disease is caused by it is a nematode ditalingus angustus uh, which is responsible for the rice ufra disease so the minimum magnification power of electron microscope if we see the minimum magnification power of electron microscope we can see here 10 lakhs times so we can see the minimum magnification power is uh, 10 lakhs times nowadays we have very advanced microscope like a uh, sem tem transmission electron microscope and the scanning electron microscope that can magnify more than one crore or uh, you know 10 crores more than that and uh, next one is uh, the association between fungi and algae is known as mutualism so the phenomena association between fungi and algae is known as mutualism so as i told you earlier all these answers are based on the options that i had given in the exam so the next one is organism which kill the ant uh, sorry uh, the organism which kill the other organism and eat them is called predation we can also see some of the arnold schwarzenegger movies in uh, hollywood so predator they will named with the predator in the sense the organism which have a very strong fighting skills very uh, you know uh, capable fighting skills and eat the prey that is called predator here the mechanism is called predation so the next one is wind dispersal of plant pathogen is known as anemochore if it is a water dispersal hydrochore if it is a man dispersal arthropochore if it is a bird dispersal it is a uh, anthropochore like this like that no so increase the number of cell uh, cells due to cell divisions it is called hyperplasia it is a hypertrophy means increase in the size of the cells that is called hyper hypertrophy increase in the size of cells it is called hypertrophy whereas in hyperplasia means increase in the number of cells or the number of cell divisions that is due to hyperplasia so we can see this hypertrophy and hyperplasia symptoms in club root of cabbage that is caused by blast plasmodium porobrasica hope you will know uh, that plasmodium porobrasica life cycle was discovered by voronin as a russian scientist uh, which is a student of anton d berry potato what life cycle also discovered by uh, voronin only the next one a substance which is produced in the response of uh, fungi on hypersensitive tissue and inhibits the development of fungi when it's a host cell come in contact with the parasites the simply they are telling about the pytoloxins so the pytoloxins are the substance which are uh, produced during hypersensitive reaction hypersensitive tissues and inhibits the development of fungi that is phytoloxins so phytoloxins was uh, first discovered by muller and borger in the year of 1940 the first phytoloxin is pisatin pisatin is the first phytoloxin that is discovered by muller and borger in the year of 1940 so the next one is the commonly used permanent mounting solution of a slides lactophenol is the most commonly used uh, permanent so, uh, mounting solution in a uh, uh, laboratory so based on the options uh, not only options this is the most uh, commonly used mounting solution for uh, slides so the next one is the intermediate type of growth of sporangiospores is found in the family pithiaceae so intermediate type of uh, sporangiospore growth can be observed in pithiaceae so the next one is compound which prevents the multiplication of fungi without killing them if it is a fungicide it can kill the fungus so if it is a fungistat it don't kill the fungus but inhibits the growth and multiplication of fungus that is fungistat 
so the next one is the protein uh, coat of virus in which nucleic acid is enclosed inside is called capsid so the protein coat of virus which is uh, where nucleic acid is cap uh, packed inside is called capsid capsid is the nu i mean outer outer coat or uh, outer layer or so simply the protein coat of the fungus is called capsid so here uh, claviceps fusiform is the next one claviceps fusiform is enters into the plant cells through stigma so hope you know that claviceps fusiform is which causes ergot of rye disease that enters into the plant cells through stigma so the next one is browning of stem is the characteristic feature of wilt if you cut open the stem and we can see the browning of uh, browning discoloration especially vascular discoloration can be seen the next one is association of nematode with the plant disease was studied by atkinson the first time association of nematode with the plant disease was first studied by atkinson in 1891 in cotton wilt i think so cotton wilt that is associated with uh, uh, a nematode root knot nematode i am not sure associated with the melodogyne or something maybe i'm not sure but the crop is cotton that's i'm sure angular leaf spot of cotton that is 100 percent sure and the association name first studied by atkinson in 1891 the next one is propicanazole belonging to the groups so propicanazole all the zole fungicides are belong to the group triazole so the mode of action of systemic fungicides all the systemic fungicides are the common mode of action that is ergosterol biosynthesis so the next one is microscope used to study the surface features of the pathogen i think we have seen it earlier so the stereoscopic microscope uh, which is used to study the surface features of the pathogen not only pathogen but also insects and other related uh, uh, microorganisms so the next one is which copper fungicide having both antibiotic and antifungal activity bodo mixture so bodo mixture having the both antibiotic and antifungal activity bodo mixture was developed by milladet in the year of 1882 so the composition of bodo mixture is 1 is to 1 is to 100 that is 1 kilogram of copper sulfate 1 kilogram of hydrated lime and 100 liters of water gives bodo mixture here bodax is the bodo or bodax is the university name where millardet worked in those time so next question is i am not sure about this uh, answer of this question that's why i was striked uh, i was striked it out and uh, uh, if you know just comment below and when one percent of the bodo mixture, the question number is nine forty nine. When one percent of the bodo mixture containing five percent of the active ingredients, which are dissolved in one liters of water, having the concentration, I don't know uh, how to calculate it. And moreover, I was very weak in mathematics. So uh, uh, option it seems to be point five percent, point four point five ppm is the reliable, but I don't know the exact answer. The next one is fifty. The chemical used for the preservation of fungi. So among the given option, mineral oil seems to be the one of the most uh, reliable one. So the next one is a disease occurring at very irregular intervals and locations relatively the few instances that is sporadic disease. And the next one is constant is caused by spiroplasma. Constant is the first spiroplasmal disease to be discovered. Which is uh, spiroplasma was uh, first discovered by uh, you know Phytoplasma do et al. Whereas Spiroplasma davis et al. In the year of 1972. So constant is the first uh, 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 spiroplasmal disease. Uh, Indian type culture collection uh, was located at New Delhi. ITCC which was located at New Delhi. The next one is the uh, Indian Society of Mycology. And plant pathology was established in the year 1971. It is also publishing a journal uh, uh, from Udaipur, I think so. Uh, the next one is the Society of Plant Protection uh, Science was established in the year 1992. The next one is self-replicating extra chromosomal DNA present in the bacteria that is plasmid. We will know very well about uh, plasmid. Plasmid which is present in almost all plant pathogenic bacteria. Not only plant pathogenic bacteria but also other bacteria also. So the plasmid is a self-replicating extra chromosomal DNA which is present in the bacteria. It is also double stranded structure uh, which is present in the bacteria. So it is also contains a uh, 5% uh, uh, of DNA which is used for the various other purposes you know uh, during uh, antibiotic resistance and other purposes this plasmid uh, uh, genomic I mean genomic information can be used that can be used by the bacteria. And the next one is downy mildew of grapes was introduced from Europe. So downy mildew of grapes which are introduced from Europe. The next one is Stryga is a partial root parasite. So Stryga is a partial root parasite. 
then uh, uh, the fungi which completes the entire life cycle uh, in two different hosts is called heterocious best example is wheat stem rust so the wheat stem rust requires a two different host that is wheat and as well as uh, uh, you know barberry so that is called heterocious if the fungi requires two host that is called heterocious uh, rust so the next one is uh, curve uh, curve produced by the polycyclic disease so polycyclic disease will produce sigmoid curve so if you take monocyclic diseases monocyclic diseases produce saturation curve whereas polycyclic diseases produce sigmoid curve or s shape curve whereas polyetic diseases which produce bimodal curve uh, these are all the different types of curves so the next question is phytopathology journal was published from which country so phytopathology is a journal which is produced from a country origin is uh, usa so the next one is autoclave sterilization is done at the rate of 121.6 degrees centigrade for 15 psi for 15 minutes i think we had uh, discussed this question earlier so the autoclave temperature is 15 minutes 15 psi at the rate of 121.6 degrees centigrade or celsius so the next is pasteurization technique was developed by the name itself indicates pasteurization technique was developed by louis pasteur for pasteurizing of milk so the pasteurization temperature is 62.8 degrees centigrade for milk so for beer i think it's a 54 or 55 degrees centigrade according to the material i mean according to the liquid it will changes for milk it is 62.8 degrees centigrade so the next one is father of plant pathology you will know very well that anton d barry is considered as father of plant pathology so nobel laureate norman e borlaug belonging to i mean i think they asked the area where he uh, he raised everything i think he is exactly belonging to the mexico because cement will be there in mexico centro international de metro mesora mainti de mezi white rigo that is the international center for wheat and maize research which is located at mexico because norman e borlaug is considered as father of uh, a green revolution in the entire world where he started green revolution in the crop of um, uh, wheat and maize so in india green revolution was uh, initially started in wheat and maize but actually uh, in india we can we have uh, uh, rice as the stable food crop whereas uh, slowly it converted i mean uh, uh, the green revolution goes to uh, for the uh, production of a huge amount of rice so the next question is race specific resistance these are the other name of uh, vertical resistance vertical resistance is called race specific resistance horizontal resistance is considered as race non specific resistance other names also will be there uh, uh, we can discuss it uh, uh, we can discuss it on later on and the next one is the opening present in the perithecium through which the spores are escaped from the fruiting body that is osteol osteol we can see here this is the osteol this is the the small opening is the osteol so this is the opening in perithecium where uh, spores can be escaped through this uh, gap or through this opening that is called osteol the next one is so the computer based system uh, which is used for the identification of organisms with multiple keys that is biolog uh, which having uh, which in which we can use the uh, characteristics of the pathogen along with the uh, uh, you know epidemic model also can be uh, uh, we can be calculated by using this biolog so the next one is correct order of application of agrochemicals that is uh, uh, initially we have to apply fungicides then we can go for insecticide then we go for rhizobium that's why it's called fir uh, you can remember the police fir that is f indicates fungicide i indicates insecticide r indicates rhizobium that is fir so the next one is uh, fastidious vascular bacteria is mainly confined to so we know very well that fastidious vascular uh, bacteria are confined to feb is confined to vascular bundles only so rather than that we can't find this uh, fast fastidious vascular bacteria in any other parts of the plant like leaves or some other parts it can ex exactly or especially confined to the vascular bundles only so the next one is fastidious vascular so same question has been repeated i think so uh, i think next one is a uh, pineapple disease of sugarcane is caused by ceratocystis paradox it's a causal organism so the pineapple disease of sugarcane is caused by ceratocystis paradoxa so the next one is uh, globodera rostochinensis is restricted to it is a nematode disease which is restricted to nilagiri hills which is a very severe problem in uh, uh, Nilagiri Hills, especially during the pro uh, potato production, that is, I think, is a golden system of global error of sciences. So, uh, it is a, a problematic in the production of a potato, especially in Nilagiri Hills area. Uh, so, the next one is uh, the theory of a toxin 
is experimentally proved in which pathogen so the theory of toxins experimentally proved in rice blast pathogen that is pyricularia varice or magnoporte gracie that is rice blast pathogen so the next one is dncp is a nematicide which is banned due to so this nematicide can be banned due to groundwater polluting so this nematicide is polluting groundwater that's why it says it has banned so the next one is number of races of heterodera avine present in india so there are five races are present in heterodera it is heterodera avine is a nematode so five races of heterodera avine is present in india so the next one is spread spreading decline of citrus is caused by spreading decline of citrus is caused by radopholus similis we can see three types of uh, declines here that is slow decline spreading decline quick decline spreading decline is due to radopholus similis whereas quick decline is due to citrus tristiza virus whereas slow decline is due to whereas slow decline is due to i think is a uh, tilentulus i am not sure i can uh, tile i think it's a uh, slow decline is due to tilentulus Spre spreading decline is due to radopholus whereas quick decline is due to citrus tristis a virus so the next one is so nematode transmission of grape fan leaf virus was given by hewitt et al i think we had discussed this question earlier so the nematode transmission of grape fan leaf virus was given to hewitt et al that is the uh, uh, zifinima index so the first plant parasitic nematode was discovered by needham that is anguna treatise in the year of 1743 So the next one is the two distinct races of radopholus similis are parasitic on so citrus and banana so uh, we, i think it's based on the options given so the next one is fasciliomyelis uh, sorry fasciliomyces liliacianum or liliacian liliacianum uh, which feeds on egg larvae and adults i think it's a biocontrol agent fasciliomyces liliacianum or liliacium uh, which feeds on eggs larvae and adults so the next question is globodera pallida uh, distinguished from globodera rostrocyanensis in having cream color so i think these two uh, uh, nematodes are distinguished by having the cream color so the next one is root exudates of potato acts as a hatching factor for which nematodes so globodera so root exudates of potato this root exudates act as a hatching factor Ah, uh, for the globodera. So I think it's a globodera can produce a cyst even after its death. I think so. I had studied it uh, somewhere else. And the next one is a uh, root tips are called due to the infection of which nematode? That is Zifinima. Due to the infection of uh, Zifinima, we can observe the curling of root tips. So the next one is the nematode, the nematode fumigant DD belonging to the group halogenated hydrocarbons. the next one is the enzyme produced by the dietylingus dipsaci or dipsaci so the enzymes which are produced by this nematode is pectinases esterases and cellulases are the enzymes produced by dietylingus dipsaci so the next one is cyst formation after the death of nematode is the feature of oh, I, i'm sorry it's not uh, globodera so the cyst formation after the death of uh, uh, nematode is heterodera not globodera so i think uh, uh, i had said it as wrongly so the cyst formation after the death is the characteristic feature of heterodera so the next is the avermectin act as a miticide avermectin is a miticide so the next one is yellow disease of black pepper is caused by radopholus similis yellow disease of black pepper is caused by radopholus similis so the next one is yellow ear rot of wheat is caused by so yellow ear rot of wheat is caused by clavibacter triticae or anguna to see so the next one the quarantine crop losses are estimated by using disease in intensity by using disease disease in intensity uh, we can measure the quarantine crop losses the next one is the transfer of a genetic material from one bacterium to another bacterium by bacteriophage is known we know very well that is transduction we have three types of uh, 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 phenomena will be there in bacteria that is sexual phenomena will be there in bacteria that is conjugation transformation transduction conjugation was discovered by lederberg and tatum in the year of 1946 in the organism e coli whereas transduction sorry transformation was discovered by griffith in 1928 uh, 
uh, in pseudom uh, sorry pneumonia whereas transduction was discovered by uh, lederberg and zinder in 1952 in the organism salmonella in conjugation uh, direct contact between two bacteria whereas in uh, transformation uh, genetic material which was uh, 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 released outside can be taken up by the another bacteria that is transformation in the sense of transduction a bacteria phase uh, a bacterial phase which is involved in the uh, you know transfer of a bacterium from uh, uh, from one uh, bacteria to another bacteria that is uh, that's why it's also called as phase mediated uh, uh, genome transfer that is transduction so the next one is study of fungi is called mycology study of bacteria is called bacteriology study of virus is called virology study of weather factors and weather parameters called plant disease epidemiology and the last question is the antagonistic activity between two organisms can be studied by using dual culture so dual culture is the technique uh, we can use to study the antagonistic activity between two organisms so here this uh, dual culture was developed by Dennis and Webster in the year of 1971 so all the answers are based on the options given in the exams and the above questions are purely based on uh, purely uh, memory based questions.